Hi, this is Dita and today I'm reporting from Blogging Spree. In this video I will show you how to make columns on a post or a page. Creating columns on a page for someone who has uh, the knowledge of coding is very simple, but most people don't know how to code and for them to create columns on a page is next to impossible. So in this video I would like to introduce you to one of my favorite plugins which is the free WordPress plugin Ultimate Tiny MCE. This plugin helps to dramatically enhance the rather lean features of the WordPress WYSIWYG uh, editor. And of the many options that this plugin offers, today I will only concentrate on how to make columns using one of the functionality or options of the plugin. So here I am on my test uh, blog, and what we'll do is we'll add uh, the plugin to our site, and in the search box, uh, we'll just enter the Ultimate Tiny MCE and click on Search Plugins. And here you have the uh, plugin, so click on Install. We are okay with that. And we'll click on Activate the plugin. So once the plugin is activated, it shows on our plugins page, and we'll uh, just click on settings uh, to see the many functions or options that the plugin offers. If you scroll down, you can see that you have a ton of uh, options to choose from. So what I'd like to do is um, I would like to compare I'd like to compare the editor uh, that you will have after um, you install the plugin. As, as you can see, I uh, clicked on most of the options and the editor is very enhanced, very rich. If you don't have the plugin installed, of course your editor is so bare, it just has a few functions to offer. I mean, you can still use it uh, well, but uh, really uh, many options are lacking. So in order to create columns in a post, this is a dummy post that I created, you have to go back to your plugins and uh, the settings of the Ultimate Tiny MCE. You have to scroll down to um, miscellaneous features and uh, make sure to enable columns shortcodes. So tick off this box. And after you do that, click on Update Miscellaneous Options. Now come back to the uh, miscellaneous features. And here you can get detailed help for each feature from the uh, this website. This is a website uh, created by the um, plugin developer and if you click here and scroll down a bit you will find instructions on how to set up your codes when you're uh, creating columns on your post. Okay, so for example for one half uh, you would write down, for, for two columns, you would write one half on uh, the left hand side and uh, notice that the one half is not separated by a dash but by an underscore and then uh, you will close it with uh, one half and then uh, add one half last and then close it with one half last. But you can go uh, through these instructions on your own. So we are back in the uh, test post and let's preview it and uh, see what we have here. So what I did was I entered just, uh, as I said, dummy text and uh, here's just a paragraph and then I added four unordered lists. And we'll use this uh, lists for comparison. 
So based on the information that the developer provided, I created instructions for myself uh, to place on my site to create uh, two columns. And what we'll do is, first of all, we'll preview the uh, website just to show you what happens when I added those instructions. And you can see that the instructions uh, separated the page into two columns. So this is the left column, this is the right column. And uh, what we'll do is um, we'll replace this is the left column with uh, the text. And uh, we'll just place the text between the two brackets. And uh, then I'll place the other text in here into the second part of the column. And uh, we don't need this, so we'll delete that. So let's have a look at our uh, post. And as you can see, we have two beautiful columns and uh, uh, they look much better than just uh, the straightforward uh, text uh, in the list uh, above the columns. So what we'll do is we'll, I also will show you how to label this, uh, give them a title. It's really simple to do. Uh, so we'll edit it again and um, all you have to do when you're labeling something, add your text uh, right uh, next to the first bracket. So we'll call it advantages. And then the second one, make sure you add it to the um, short code of the second half of the um, uh, column area. And what we can do is, uh, if I could just spell properly, and what we'll do is we'll uh, also bold it uh, so it looks brighter on the side. And let's have a look at it. And here we go a beautiful column that specify advantages and disadvantages. And you can, of course, center it just like you would center any other text. So the next thing that I want to show you is how to add images into these columns. And for that purpose, I have crea uh, created instructions to uh, create uh, three columns on the page. And we'll just enter it here. And as you can see, uh, it is separated into three sections. One third, this is the first column, second column, and the third column. So um, it's really simple to do based on the instructions. So I just will hi highlight this uh, text and I will add uh, image into the text. So I will insert the image and I will uh, do that for the rest of the pictures as well. Just add them here and, uh, and here. So I added all the three images and let's ha let's preview the post. And uh, let's see. And here you have three images of uh, books. Uh, you can have you can have your products. You can have Amazon products as I have here. Those are Amazon books. 
and you can see they are perfectly aligned and you can add text uh, above the images or below the images and uh, just uh, use uh, the same method as adding text uh, over here and uh, um, you can also add uh, text right into the image by adding text to the caption so um, you can you can just uh, add the text right here into the caption so now I'll just take you to a post that I wrote uh, about this uh, process how to make columns in a post using free ultimate tiny MC plugin and this is where the video is going to go but the post shows you um, written instructions as well and I just wanted to show you the images that I uh, created and placed in the three column and here is the writing I included in the captions and I also hyperlink these images so these images will take me straight into the Amazon for people to purchase if they want to. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation and uh, found out that it is really simple to create um, uh, columns if you have the right plugin and uh, the ultimate uh, uh, tiny MCE is it. So all you have to do now is to install it on your blog and have some fun with it. And thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Oh, just an afterthought, uh, I will leave you a link to this post in the description below the video. Bye now.